He is known for his comedic roles in films such as Cactus Flower and Please Don't Eat the Daisies. He is recognized for his versatile acting abilities, taking on both lighthearted and more intense characters. His name is Jack Weston. In the world of comedy, one name stands out, Jack Weston, a native of Cleveland, Ohio, whose talent for playing comedic roles earned him a special place in Hollywood history. Known for his appearances in films such as Cactus Flower and Please Don't Eat the Daisies, Weston had a knack for bringing laughter to audiences. But he wasn't just limited to comedy, he also took on more serious roles, showcasing his versatility as an actor. One of Weston's notable performances was in the 1967 film Wait Until Dark, where he played a scheming crook and stalker alongside Alan Arkin and Richard Crenna. In this intense thriller, Weston's character attempts to terrorize and rob a blind Audrey Hepburn, showcasing his ability to captivate audiences in dramatic roles as well. Throughout his career spanning over 25 years, Weston had numerous character roles in major films like The Cincinnati Kid, The Thomas Crown Affair, and Dirty Dancing. His talent and versatility allowed him to seamlessly transition between different genres, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. Not only did Weston conquer the big screen, but he also made his mark on television. From his appearances in popular shows like Perry Mason and Route 66, to starring alongside Peggy Cass in the series, The Hathaways, Weston's charm and comedic timing were a hit with audiences. Weston's talent was recognized with nominations for prestigious awards. In 1976, he was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy for his performance in The Ritz. Additionally, his stage appearances, including Woody Allen's comedy The Floating Light Bulb, earned him a Tony Award nomination for Best Actor in 1981. Jack Weston's contributions to the world of entertainment are undeniable. With his ability to bring laughter and captivate audiences in both comedic and dramatic roles, he left a lasting legacy in Hollywood. His versatility and talent will forever be remembered by fans and aspiring actors alike. Jack Weston, born as Jack Weinstein, had a passion for acting from a young age. At just 12 years old, he began performing at the Cleveland Playhouse as part of its youth program. His talent was evident, and he also participated in school productions at various schools in Cleveland. In 1943, Jack joined the army and served for 28 months, primarily in Italy with the 34th Infantry Division. After the war, he returned to the Cleveland Playhouse for a brief stint before making his way to New York City. With the help of former Playhouse director K. Elmo Lowe, Jack landed a role managing a USO troupe touring Japan, China, Okinawa, and Korea. During his time in New York, Jack became a member of the American Theatre Wing, where he trained under the guidance of Lee Strasberg. Although he didn't achieve great professional success at this time, he decided to return to Cleveland. It was there that he met Marge Redmond, an actress, and the two fell in love. They eventually moved to New York and got married in 1950. While in New York, Jack and Marge occasionally acted together, even appearing in a 1963 episode of The Twilight Zone titled The Bard. However, their marriage ended in divorce in the 1980s. They did not have any children together. Jack's second marriage was to Lori Jilks, and they had one child. Despite his personal struggles, including a battle with lymphoma, Jack remained dedicated to his craft until his passing on May 3, 1996, at the age of 71. Jack Weston's story is one of perseverance and a love for acting. From his early days in Cleveland to his time in New York, he pursued his passion and left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. His talent and dedication will always be remembered. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.